thing. I like Kenny G. I'm sorry. I apologize. I admit it. Uh, I'm against lyrics. Uh, while Democrats continue to claim Republicans are killing votes, uh, voting in America, they need to take a look in the mirror, like giving immigrants the right to vote. Illegal immigrants. It's happening in major liberal legal, enclaves. Legal, legal, not illegal. What? Legal. Legal immigrants. Can I continue? Yeah, but don't uh, distort All right. Uh, the major script. liberal enclaves like New York City, which just approved giving 800,000 non-citizens. Is that okay, Rolando? Yes, it Thank is. you. Uh, the right to cast ballots in local elections. Is this open ever going to be over? No. 14 <laughs> other small jurisdictions have similar laws. And even leading Democrats like House Democrat Hakeem Jeffries says he fully supports the idea. Uh, so is there a worse idea on the planet than, a, than diminishing the idea of citizenship in America, Jesse? To fund the police, maybe. Okay. That's all That's I number can think two. Of. How dare you? You know... Geraldo, come on. Yes. You can't push non-citizens to vote in U.S. elections. You can't do that. You wonder why the Republicans were suspicious about the ballots in 2020? And opening when up the When you guys are border? openly pushing non-citizens for a nationals you are making to an vote assumption. in American elections? Yeah, he... What if I walked across, swam across the Rio Grande and just started voting in Mexico? No, they threw, you, enough... in they threw you in jail so fast right. you they wouldn't would. know what can I, can I just How about we get out? all of my friends, we go swim over to Mexico, and we right. vote so they build a wall for right. us. Could most that your, work? Most I mean, of your friends can't swim. About. The other thing, you can't assume <laughs> he has an opinion. You can't open up and start an argument with him without him talking. It's against the rules of the He already was up in your grill at the intro. This is a toxic assumption. The road to hell pays paved with toxic assumptions. I believe this is a bad move. I believe that vote, the voting, the right to vote is a sacred right Thank of citizenship. Yes. And I, I am opposed to this idea. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. I was arguing Mr. for nothing. I'm yes. opposed <laughs> to this idea, point. Mr. Smarty Pants, because it, it, it dilutes the power of the vote and it discourages people from that path towards citizenship yep. when they're here legally to work hard and there's a tradition and when they get sworn in, it's such a, it's such a life affirming uh, tradition in uh, in the United States. Well, and, and New York passing this non-citizen right. right to vote. New York would vote to abolish the army. <laughs> if, if, they, if it was on the ballot, they would vote. Dana, I apologize for I jumping apologize. down your throat. All right, all right. But that, you were that just was, like, that was you know, very good for rehearsal. He was making it <laughs> live on television now. Dana, in the, in the real world, we're actually commenting about how people feel. Uh, don't have to project. How do you feel about this? And are we heading this direction? I think that you'll find that it will be as popular as defund the police. But it's also... That's something that is never going to happen. Number one, Kamala Harris is in charge. Well, locally it could effort. happen, right? Well, yeah, but, the, but, but what we're talking You'll about is that the national. Democrats uh, and Biden's team is now saying, build back better because they're not going to be able to get it done. They're saying that the voting rights bill is the most important thing to do. This will now become, and the media will follow uh, in this line of thinking, the most important uh, bill in front of the Congress right now is the voting rights one. But the problem is it doesn't really have a lot to do with voting rights. Like they're basically saying, let's. Uh, they don't like voter ID. Okay. Most Americans do. They don't do. like. Uh, the other thing they want to do is they want to divert public money, taxpayer money, to political campaigns. It's a very unpopular idea, but they don't want to talk about that. They just want to say voting. Everybody is for legally being able to vote. We have to give properly. Crazy Bernie's well, campaign money. That's yes, exactly what absolutely. they want to do. No, but that's uh, that's exactly the law now. Judge get in giving because uh, she money. will sue. She's litigious by nature. Uh, judge, go ahead. <laughs> I used to swear in newly naturalized citizens. It was the best day of their lives. It yep. was the best day as a judge of my day because I was always sending people to jail. Uh, but they love America. They swear allegiance to this country. They know our history. They know more about American history than most Americans do. Okay? They worked hard. They paid for it. They waited in line. They deserve to vote, and they've earned their citizenship. These people have not earned it. If anything, you talk about, you know, uh, uh, the results of the Democrats' actions, well, this is it, baby. This is it. We're opening up the borders, and now what we're going to do is we're going to start the soft effort, right. and we're going to have the yep. non-legal uh, or the, the, the green card holders vote, and that's local elections. Pretty soon, they're going to yep. be voting in federal elections. This is just the beginning. So I think when we, we gave them licenses 
to drive. That's a point of identification that they can use to register to vote. And I got to tell you, this whole idea, all of a sudden, they know the Democrats have been sinking in everything. Everything's 60 percent. Everybody's against Joe Biden. Right. All of a sudden, they had to turn it around. The GOP is killing your voting rights. Right. They had to turn it Georgia around and get Texas. on the offense. Right. I think everything you say is good. I think we all kind of agree. I don't have a Kurt, I married Kurt Vonnegut's daughter story, but I do have something <laughs> Uh, that is relevant for this. I spent Wednesday on Ellis Island uh, with yeah. uh, Michael uh, Wiles, who's an immigration attorney yes. and a historian, oh, no, walking through. And he tends to lean left. Uh, to me, he's a Democrat, he but he said, uh, I am not for this, and here's why. He goes, you swear an oath to the country. Exactly. Until you swear that oath, how dare you give up the right to vote? And almost every immigrant says one of the sacred things, the thing they look forward to most after they get in Absolutely. is voting. And uh, that's why I said this is a non-starter. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know who represented John Lennon in the deportation? His dad. His dad. Michael yeah. Wall's dad. Yes. Yeah, it's, yes. Uh, yeah. It's, and uh, I was the witness. I was one of the witnesses. Did you yeah. ask Kurt Vonnegut for his <laughs> permission before you proposed? <laughs> no. Kurt's. Uh, oh, yeah, before I proposed? Yeah. Oh, yes. To his daughter, right. everybody. Right. His, his, yeah, his, that was his, his daughter. daughter. <laughs> he was a great man. A great For those man. of you who right. just got a home. A great man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you missed that, everybody. Because we're talking right. about a lot of things. Right. We have a lot of <laughs> rewinds. And by the far, the most interesting man in the world.